I all found it, yeah. Right, I'm gonna do a cheesecake. Now, I know I did one at Easter, um, an Easter cheesecake with chocolate, eggs on and everything. This one's gonna be a peach one, but it's gonna be slightly different because I want a thicker base. Now, um, if you look back at my old video I did, um, you know, I had a tin about that deep. This one's a nice deep one. So where before I used 250 grams of digestive biscuits and 100 grams of melted unsalted butter, I'm using 800 grams of digestives and 200 grams of melted butter. And the rest of the um, ingredients will be the same, which will be one vanilla pod or extract, extract I've got, 600 grams of full fat soft cheese, 100 grams of ocean sugar, and 284 ml of double cream. Right, first thing I'm gonna do, get the biscuits brewed up. Right, I'm using digestive biscuits. These ones are some oldie, uh, nothing wrong with them. Uh, I can't really see any difference between these to make these, to be quite honest. But um, yeah, let's get these out. That's 400 grams in uh, each pack of these. So um, we're gonna get, oh, get these open. We're gonna throw them all over the bench. And uh, we're gonna get these in a bag. Now you can put these in a blender and blend them down. I don't mind just sticking them in a bag. Like so. Hold them top of the bag and break them up this way. Right, I'll continue with this and I'll bring it back. If you're going to bash these up this way, just be careful. Um, I've just doubled this up actually, got in it too, I haven't split the bag. So just uh, just be aware of that. So I've got this in two bags at the moment. So uh, yeah, just, just keep doing it until um, all the biscuits are in a nice fine crumb. As I say, if you've got a blender, by all means use that. Right, that's all the biscuit now crushed up. Um, I've decided, I said 200 grams of unsalted butter. I'm actually going to go with a whole 250 grams. There's quite a bit of biscuit there. And this is quite a deep tin. So um, I just want to get the consistency right. So unsalted butter, 250 grams. I'm now going to melt this and I'll do that and bring it back. Right, pull that forward a bit. Butter, that's all the butter melted, melted. 250 grams. So we're going to pour this in to the biscuit mix, like so. Then we're going to mix that around and get this so it goes nice and damp, basically. So I'll get mixing and I'll bring you back shortly. Right, that's all mixed in. So what you're looking for is a nice little damp consistency. So the next stage after that is to get your tin, which I have rubbed butter around basically. And um, we're gonna get this biscuit base in here. And I'm gonna start packing it around. Right, let me do this and I'll bring you back. Right, so that's your biscuit base, all done and pushed down. So I'm now going to get this in the fridge for a good hour and a half. I'll bring it back. Right, next stage, double cream. Now it's just, it should be 284 mil, but I'm going to do, do 300 mil. I mean, we're only talking about another um, 16 mil anyway. So I'm going to use a 300 mil tub um, of double cream, which we will pour into that then the next day just to get this whisked up now you don't want to over whisk this you want to get this sort of, sort of nice little peaks on it when that's done right it's going to get noisy we switch it on well just nice and gently to start off with we're going to end up going all over the kitchen right i'll do this i'll bring you back in a minute Right, we're just about there. It'll take a couple of minutes. Yep, that'll probably do it. Right, let's get this out. Right, next stage. 600 grams of full fat soft cheese. And 
your ice and sugar. Right, let's get these opened up and uh, we'll get these into the old bowl. Right, this will be the first one in. Right, let's get this in. I'll bring it back. I'll get it all in there and we'll bring it back. Right, that's your 600 grams um, of full cream cheese in there. Then what we're going to do is add 100 grams of um, your ocean sugar to the cream cheese. Like so. Get that out of the way. And basically, we're going to whisk this up together. So, um, yeah, noisy again. I'll bring you back in a minute when I've done this. Right, that's the cream cheese and the ice and sugar mixed together. Now your next stage then is to get this fresh double cream I whipped up in the cream cheese. So we'll get all this out. Get all this in there. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. <laughs> go to one side then all you do then don't need to whisk anymore this is just basically mixing it in and folding it in it's all you need to do just keep going get it all mixed in together all that lovely cream fresh cream ocean sugar cream cheese wow just keep going for a couple of minutes just folding it in all the way Right, I'll do that and I'll bring you back. Right, that's all that mixed together. Now the next step, I've just got this out of the um, fridge where it's been sitting in a good hour and a half, nearly two hours. And all we do then is get this lovely mixture and get it on top. Of course, this is going to be good. Right, I'm going to spread this about. And then once I've got this all on there, I'm going to bring it back. Right, I'm just finishing now. I've just got a knife now. I've just got everything out. I'm just going to smooth all this over. Get it all to the edges. Like so. Just nice and gently. Right, let me carry on with this. And when I've got this all smoothed out, I'll um, bring it back. And that, my friends, is that. Now... I'm going to put some peaches on top of here, so I'll bring it back in a sec. Right, peaches. Let's get some on. Lay it out. And make it look pretty. Lay them any way you like, really. And you can put anything on here. You don't have to have peaches. You can have strawberries. You can have raspberries, whatever. Right, I'm going to lay these out, and I'll bring it back in a bit. And that, folks, is that. One peach cheesecake. I'm gonna get this now in the fridge and let this settle for several hours. And then when we cut it, I'll bring it back and we'll have a look at it and have a try. Catch you later. Right, we're back. This is set in the fridge for two hours. So I've now got to try to get out of this tin. So, Let's unclip this first of all, and um, we'll see how it go. Right. Voila. Right then, let's cut this bad boy up. Well, it come out guy the tin, all right. So. Uh, Deep biscuit base. Right, I'll come back to you in a minute. Well, I've cut a bit out. 
there we have it. Look at the size of that. No, no, I'm not going to read all this on my own. I'm going to share this with the missus, but I'm going to try it. Let me get a spoon. Right, I'll just come over here because the old sun is out. Wow. Fat Eddie's peach cheesecake. Mmm. Oh, yeah, with loads of biscuit base. Quite oh, lovely, eh? Mmm. That is absolutely delightful. Mmm. Right, everyone. I like that gives a thumbs up. Comments below. That is delicious. Now you don't have to make one as big as that. If you go on my original recipe, which would be a smaller one, 250 grams of digestive biscuits, 100 grams of butter, unsalted, melted, um, a little bit of vanilla extract, extract or, or seeds of a vanilla pod. 600 grams of full fat soft cheese, 100 grams of oyster sugar, and 284 mil of double cream. Or I'll use 300 mil. But yeah, the only thing I did for one that size, I used 800 grams of digestive biscuits and 250 grams of uh, unsalted butter in that and all the rest was the same. But yeah, it's bloody bang. Have a go. Um, yeah, if you didn't subscribe yet, please consider doing so. Fat Andy's Peace Cheesecake. Fat Andy in the kitchen. Love you loads, everyone. Catch you the next one. Enjoy.